bam, right there. Right there. That's me. How's it going, guys? Token vaping. So today's juice review is actually a flavor I was able to get off of a newer line that's basically making a boom on the vaping community. Um, they are on Instagram. They're on Facebook. They're on Twitter. They have their own website. Definitely need to check them out. They have some unique combination flavors. Now, they're not completely unheard of. I mean, I'm not going to say that you've never, ever heard of them before. However, they're not... Some of the flavors aren't as common across the board just because nowadays a lot of people are... are it seems like they're playing it safe and going with, you know, the normal flavors that people expect to see, um, things like that. Um, these guys have gone a little bit further beyond and gone with um, some combinations that you might not automatically think of, some that you've already seen, but they're trying to expand on that and make them, um, you know, just a little bit better and make them the, the forefront choice for, um, you know, juice lines. The name of the company is Hype City Vapors, and that's, this is their website and their media pages. It's HypeCityVapors.com. They're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Definitely, definitely check them out. Um, they have some interesting flavor combinations. Like I said, it's a six flavor line. One of the things that caught my attention about this line is that their mix ratio is an 80-20. So you already are gonna be going to be expecting some some pretty dense clouds out of this. It's a, a high VG uh, line. Um, and also you will be under the, the impression that um, there's going to be a, a lack of a throat hit uh, just with the higher VG. So it's meant to be more of a smoother, uh, a more dense vape, but a smoother, a smoother vape. Um, if you go to the website, you also see that it is all locally made in the USA. I believe they're based out of California. And the only reason why I say that is just because on the box here, it does say 21 plus. And I know California is one of the states where you have to be 21 to vape or smoke, things like that. So I, I will clarify that, but that's I'm just going to go off of that. Um, they do practice the GMP, which is good manufacturing process uh, procedures, and they are an ISO certified company. So automatically off their website, HypeCityVapors.com, they're already telling you basically that they do follow every every guideline that they need to to ensure that you're getting an ultra premium line. Um, like I said, it is a six flavor line. You can actually purchase the flavors directly off of their website. You can also, um, if you are a shop or um, you know you have, you are starting a uh, like a distribution company type thing like that, you can access their wholesale link on there as well as well as just check out the flavor menu and just see what other flavors they've got. Now, like I said, I was able to get a flavor from them. This is the one that I got, and this is the box that it came in. Now, before I go any further real quick and i've been lately i've been putting this discla disclaimer in my videos because there is a big um back and forth uh debate going on about labeling um the des design marketing of the logos and packaging things like that just because i review a product it does not mean i support it or i'm against it as a reviewer i'm basically here just to review the juice the quality of the vape, whether it fits the, the profile of it or not, um, the clouds, throat hit, things like that, about the specific vaping ability of it. I'm not here to judge it. I'm not here to tell you my, my thoughts and feelings about how they package it, things like that. That is not what I'm doing here. My review is simply on the liquid juice itself. I just want to get that across because there are a lot of people that assume just because so-and-so has this, so-and-so review that, that they definitely 100% support that. That has nothing to do with it. This is strictly just a juice review based on flavor, clouds, things like that. So I just need to make that clear. But this is their package. This is the name of the company. This is the name of the flavor. This is the nicotine content. And on the bottom, oh, it says established in Los Angeles, California. Hey, check that out if I would have just read it. Um, and then, as I said, it has their website and their media pages on both sides. On the back, it does have their warning and ingredient labeling and everything else like there. Sorry for the glare. And then it also just shows the, the logo itself and the name of the flavor, which is Tropicolata. Now, <laughs> these are offered in a 60 ml size, which is this size here. And it basically just emulates the box itself. Pretty much everything that's on the box is on the label itself. And then it also adds on a batch code and a born on date. Uh, or a use by date. Sorry, not a born on. It's a batch code and a use by date. Which is actually pretty cool because it just goes one step further to ensure the safety of and quality of the juice itself. Obviously, 
you know, they don't want you vaping on something that's considered like expired or things like that. But if you do have a problem with it, go by going by that batch code, they can narrow down roughly where, what batch or what set of juices that it came out of to see if there's an ongoing issue, things like that. So that's actually pretty cool. Also has a really beefy security ring on here. So I can basically do this all day and it's not going to do anything until I pop that open. Now these are offered in a 60 ml bottle. Like I said, it's basically a chubby gorilla bottle. They are offered at nicotine levels of a three, a zero, three, and a six. Um, and again, it's just mainly just to uh, be more cost effective so that they can put more time, uh, money, and effort into the quality of the juice instead of worrying about having an upteen amount levels of nicotine. That's all that is. So this is a first vape first review, and it is going on a fresh cotton wick. Quick shout out to USV, United Society of Vape, for the box mod that um, I'm doing my review on. I did a review on this device as well. You can check that out on my channel as well as shout out to Texas Tough Cotton. Cotton of choice that I use. I've been using it for quite a while now. If you've watched my videos, you know that it is my go-to cotton. I just, I enjoy using it a lot. Um, it has little to no break in time, which is the selling factor for me, which is why I'm a big fan of it. So I will put that link in the comment box as well. So we're going to go ahead and pop this open. And then it comes in a basically a giant unicorn bottle style. So depending on what you're using, whether it's a tank or a dripper, things like that, some tanks, the fill ports aren't large. Um, so this might be a bit big for those fill ports. So just transfer it to a normal unicorn bottle and you'll be fine. Um, if you're using a dripper, you really shouldn't have a problem um, with using this bottle. But it's just nice that they automatically package it in the unicorn style bottle itself. So I'm going to go ahead and juice this up and get this going so we can have a vape. I'm really curious on this 80-20 mix to see how dense the, the clouds are on it just because the flavor profile is a lighter flavor and usually the lighter flavors don't generally generate as dense of a cloud. This basically is a Hawaiian pineapple with coconut cream. Kind of caught my eye because that's not a normal combination that you see on the market right now. Um, pineapple isn't you know, there aren't a whole lot of flavors off the top of my head that I can think of that have pineapple in them, much less pairing it with coconut cream. Coconut by itself, I've seen in a few flavors, but it's not generally that um, that common. So putting the two together does make this, in my opinion, kind of a unique combination of flavor just because it's one that isn't um, seen very often across the board and with the weather getting hotter now you know having lighter vapes is more of what people are going for but you know throwing the coconut cream in there tends to make it a little just a slight bit more on the uh, the creamier or thicker side so this should be an interesting mix so we'll definitely check that out and like i said the 80 20 is what what caught my eye on this so i'm curious to see not only the density of the vapor but um the throat hit or lack of throat hit that there is on this Okay, so I'll go ahead and cap this up. And as always, I'm vaping at 75 watts. And this is Tropicolada from Hype City Vapors. Okay, so you can definitely see the density of the clouds on that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick juice up again. Um, and it's mainly just because, because it is a uh, fresh cotton um, and a brand new, a brand new uh, vape off of this. I'm going to re vape a couple more times just to ensure that there isn't anything on the flavor that I may have missed or overlooked or haven't gotten to yet just because it is new cotton. Um, I generally don't need to because once I do the second vape, it pretty much confirms the initial vape, but I do it just more to make sure that I don't misinform anybody of anything about the flavor. I'm loving the clouds off of this though. 80-20, it's, it's, it is a nice dense vapor um, and it's a, a solid mix. Okay, so there I am. Um, so flavor-wise, 
it pretty much is dead on what the profile says. Um, the nice thing that I do like about it is that there are the two flavors. Um, as soon as you take the inhale, it's literally like biting into a pineapple ring. You know, once you slice up a pineapple and you take that first bite, the 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 juiciness of the flavor hits you. But it right as soon as it hits your tongue, it starts to smooth out into uh, the smoothness of the vape, so to speak, because of the coconut cream that's in it. The exhale and the tail end of the vape is definitely coconut. So it's nice that you kind of get a one flavor mix into and with the second flavor but you do taste both flavors and there is a mix in the middle to give that that combination but you do definitely in my opinion you do get a, a definite taste of both now everybody has a different vaping style and everybody has a different sensitivity to the flavors so some might pick one up more than the other or some might not pick them out specifically and they'll get a nice combo of the two but there is a nice mix of it, and for me myself, I do definitely taste both, which is really nice. The 8020 definitely gives you nice dense clouds off the vapor if that's what you're into as well. I'm a fan of the clouds, so it definitely works. There is no throat hit with the high VG. It definitely smooths out the vape, so it's a really nice um, all-day vape with a slight hit of creaminess because of the coconut cream, but not too much. It's still considered, I would consider it a lighter, fruitier flavor. So if you're looking for something that's more simplistic, that has a little bit of uh of a of a combo factor to it but it doesn't go too complicated into the flavor definitely check them out like i said it's a newer it's a newer company that's blowing up right now hypecityvapors.com they're on instagram facebook and twitter there's five other flavors to this line so definitely give them a look and check them out hype city vapors thank you so very much for the opportunity this was a great great flavor to try out of your line um it definitely is something I can see vaping on on a regular basis. As always, guys, I'm Token Vaping. I'm here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. Anything that I can do myself to help further enhance your vaping experience and make it more enjoyable for you is the only reason why I do this. So definitely hit me up if you have any questions, comments, concerns, a particular video that you'd like to see done. I will do everything in my power to make that happen. But until next time, no matter what, always remember, truly love yourself. Vape on, vape strong, guys.